Hi YouTube, today we are going to do an Eagle PCB tutorial for this circuit board. Just to show you what it's for, it had uh, two motor drivers on there to drive two motors on the axis of this uh, force feedback joystick project. And you can see, for example, if you have a flight sim game, if I go left, the joystick goes left. If I go right, the joystick exerts a force to the right. All right, so before we actually get into Eagle, we're going to start with the design. So what are we actually making this circuit board for? And so I just wanted to show um, how I like to approach the workflow and how I think Eagle is set up to approach the workflow. So in this case, for that joystick you saw, um, we just need to drive current through two motors, one for X and one for the Y axis. So we're going to start with uh, picking our components that do that. In this case, let's say we've picked this motor driver board. Because it's nice and small and has high current. And we don't need things like current sense, which this one um, does, does claim to do. But when you actually use it, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, pretty noisy. And we're going to control it using this TNC microcontroller because we have one on hand. And it's, not, it's more or less small enough for what we want. So we picked our circuit boards. Um, in CAD, you've designed your whole joystick and you've determined that you want the PCB to look like this. And then when you open Eagle, you can add components that correspond to those pin headers. So now for this particular board, we're just soldering like these 14 pins, for example, along the length of the microcontroller. And then Eagle will then let you create a board file. And then when you're placing these components, instead of pointing and clicking or dragging them, like how, for example, the board size itself, you can, you can adjust by moving this. Instead, we can run a script created with parameters from our original design or drawing, and then create the board in a very automated way, and in a way that lets us make design revisions uh, quickly and efficiently. So Eagle is set up to use text commands. So for example, let's say I want to move this component called power D2, and you can say move power D2. I want to move it 0.5 inches to the right and 0.7 inches up from the origin. And now it's moved. You can go to your CAD file, um, determine all these parameters like the one we just looked at. The actual amount is 1.571 inches to the right and 2.08 here uh, up. So that's where this command comes in. So we open Eagle, find our script file. We have to specify the full file name because I haven't figured out how to make it look in the current uh, file directory. And there you have it. With one click, you can quickly go from your design, the parameters, and then lay out uh, where your components go. So that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show uh, the general workflow from Trying to automate as much as you can from design to what the PCB actually looks like. And that's it. So next time we'll talk about how to actually make it uh, arrive on your desk.